Uh, it's time for another math easy solution. Trying to discuss an, another video on derivatives examples using the chain rule. And basically, look at part four of this video series. First off, before I get to the examples, I want to quickly recap on the chain rule. Basically, states if you have a function within a function like f of g of x, then the derivative of dy over dx is just going to be the derivative of f in terms of g multiplied by the derivative of g in terms of x, or you could write it as y prime equals f prime times g prime. So uh, yeah, basically you see that you can see the proof for this in the video links below and other related videos. So now let's go over these three examples. So I'm going to go over example one right now, which states y equals two sine uh, no, e to the sine x. Yeah, so I'll just write it down right here. So in this case, now we have our outer function uh, is this e function right now. So this could be our outer function, and our inner function is this sine of x inside. So when we take a derivative, we take the derivative of the outer function first, or dy over dx equals to, well, y prime. This equals to now derivative of e to anything, e to the x, is just itself. So we just write e sine of x. You can see the proof for this in the video link below. And now we multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which is just cosine of x. So the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. You can see the proof for that. So as you can see, we just apply a chain rule and we get this simple derivative. Uh, this is it using the other derivative rules which I showed. So that's our answer for uh, example one. Now example two states, and now this one is a function within a function within a function, kind of like uh, inception here. So example two is y equals sine of cos of tan of x. So in this one right here, if I write it down right here, yeah, so write down this one function right here. So now we could apply the chain rule actually twice. So we have our outer function could be this one, and then this could be our first inner function, and then, then we can consider this as our outer function, the cos, and then this are as our inner inner function. So basically this is why it's called chain rule because you form a chain of derivatives. So the y prime is going to equal to the derivative of the outside function. That's just going to be cosine, and then we put the inside inside. So cos tan of x. And now we multiply by the inner function of the first inner one, which is cos tan of x. So derivative of this one cos, that's going to be, well, negative sine of tan of x. And now we finally take the derivative of the inner function, or this tan of x right here. And if you see a video link below on the proof, that's just secant squared of x. That's the derivative of tan of x. So then basically this is our answer, we could put the negative out here, so y prime is equal to, so yeah, just equal to, I just made it right a bit better, put the negative in front, so cos, uh, cos tan, and then sine of tan of x, and times secant squared x, so that's our derivative. So now let's look at the last example, this one here, uh, this example 3, y equals e to the secant of 3 theta, that's the Greek symbol, uh, this is basically used for angles. So basically, instead of x, we're using theta, it's the same thing as just a different variable. So now 3 theta, if I write this down, see so if I write this down right here. So now we have, again, this, this is our outer function, and now our inner function, our first inner function is this one right here, but then we have another inner function, which is this 3 theta uh, instead of the regular theta. Uh, so now we have this 3 in front. So now this could be an, an inner of the inner one. So we apply chain rule again twice like I showed above. So basically the derivative of dy d theta, because the variables change, equals to y prime, just a derivative. First take derivative of this one, just going to be itself. So e secant 3 theta. Multiply this by now derivative of secant 3 theta. That's just going to be the, of this outer function secant. If you see on my proof below, the derivative of secant is just going to be secant 3 theta times it by tan theta. So that's just a derivative of secant theta. And now uh, basically now we have to do the inner function right here and derivative of 3 theta is just 3 but I'll just put that in front right here. So there's a 3. And basically uh, we could stop right there. So chain rule allows to find derivatives really easily just applying these derivatives. I mean just applying these chains or always just make sure to take the derivative of the inner function and if there's multiple inner functions, the inner function, inner function. So we keep ex we keep making a chain of derivatives. Well, anyways, that's all for today. Hope you learned from this video, and remember to watch uh, the related videos in the video link below, as well as downloading these exact Dropbox uh, these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.